Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to learn how you can get lots of coal and sirtling cores just by being in the swamp. I like to find these sunken crypt areas because it's a lot of flat stuff and there's usually just like one monster here. And it's a good place to build a sort of temporary base. When you build in the swamp, you really have to understand that it's hard to get wood out of the swamp. So whatever you build with, you have to bring into the swamp. So make sure you come prepared, bring a lot of wood when you get iron and stuff. Otherwise you're going to struggle and probably die at some point because while you're trying to get the wood to build stuff, monsters come and get you. So here we are with our basic kind of entry base and our guys off in the distance. And isn't this cool? Look at this infinite green iron torches. Pretty dope, right? You could just build around the swamp. Now we'll go off to start the farm. All that you'll need is the hoe, really. You're going to make it so that there's water, and it's going to automatically kill them every time they spawn. But they're only going to keep respawning if you're in the active zone. Oh, there we go. So all you need to do is just start leveling. Leveling the ground from in here. Try not to die to leeches like I'm probably about to. It's okay, I made a bed. But all you got to do is just level everything like this. And there we go. Oh, whoa! <laughs> well, as you can tell, you gotta kill the enemies first. But it's okay, I'm close by. Here we are, back in our hut. And off in the distance, you can see our body. <laughs> Here we go. This time, I'm not jumping around in the water like a fool. So hopefully, I'll be fine. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I guess this is appropriate. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, no, I forgot about the abominations. That'd be brutal. Oh, it got me. Uh, I had Corpse Run. I could have just wailed on him. <laughs> well, here we are. You know, this is actually a really good spot because not only, <laughs> not only is the water deep enough to kill these guys, but the water is also deep around this area, so leeches will actually spawn. So when you come here, you can aggro some leeches as well. And if you just have, like, a pointy weapon... You see how easy it is to kill them. This is with just a shit and dagger, the abyssal dagger. But now that the enemies are gone, well, what's going to happen? You need to have a base nearby, ideally that you're getting iron from, that kind of thing, right? You find one of these big swamps. And then over time, as you do other stuff, they'll respawn. There we go. You can see they, they actually just respawned, and then they died. This will only happen if you're nearby. That's why you sort of need to be doing something else in the swamp in order for this to work properly. Come over and get the coal and sirtling cores. And these things are really useful. Later on in the game, you're going to want to have more than one of each item. More than one forge, more than one smelter, etc, etc. And you'll have more and more portals. So having a lot of sirtling cores is actually really useful. To make the sirtlings spawn as often as possible, you need to rest every single chance that you get. And if you get this there are enemies nearby message, don't worry about that because you don't need to actually go kill the enemies. You can just crouch and then when they can't hear you, you can just rest. So you can actually just rest even when there are enemies nearby. And would you look at that, we've made some friends. The Sirtlings respawned, and also there is another Wraith right here, so... Probably be easier to just have them come down to me. Here we go. This is a great spot to fight Wraiths, actually. There's plenty of space to move around. Oh, that third attack with the knife does so much damage. Oh! There we go, we got our wraith. <laughs> and here are a new set of sirtling cores and coal. So basically, each time you rest, 
you get a little bit closer to being rewarded with 10 to 20 coal and, you know, 1 to 5 Sirtling cores. And this makes gathering the Sirtling cores much, much easier than going into crypts over and over and over again and dealing with the RNG. The crypts are cool at first, but, you know, they get kind of lame eventually. Consider checking out my video about purchasing your own dedicated server. It's a great way to play Valheim, lets other people interact with the world while you're sleeping and doing other stuff. If there's something you want me to make a tutorial about, then leave a comment below. I love making tutorials in response to the kinds of things that people ask, so sometimes I'll make a tutorial to answer your question. I really enjoy it, it's a fun way to play the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!